Hi, I'm Cynthia and I've written The Phoenix's Fall. Hi, I'm Kay and I wrote On the Run. I'm Michael and I wrote The Other Team. Hi, I'm Karen and I wrote I Hate Darcy Pemberley. I'm really excited about being part of this anthology because I really love queer YA and I just really love some of the authors on the anthology and it's amazing to be a part of this with them. I'm excited to see my name in real print for the first time and the fact that it's in print alongside some really cool authors who I really admire is kind of icing on the exciting cake. I think somebody who, um, somebody who writes a lot of queer stuff and there are not that many opportunities um, to have it published. Um, so I'm really excited to be part of a book like this that's got so many uh, queer writers and illustrators in it. It feels like it's gonna sort of broaden the horizons a wee bit. I'm just really excited to see something like this on shelves because it's I know it's something that I would have loved as a kid um, and so it's really great to actually see it be available. I just really like the idea of uh, making someone's day a little bit better, like even if I don't necessarily change their life, like it's just great to know that I've made someone a little bit happier. I like exploring characters and figuring out why people are how they are and why they do things they do and kind of relationships they have with each other and I particularly like getting to tell stories where it's a bit more LGBT based what's what I know. I like telling stories because I think the the world can be quite a scary place and quite an odd place and telling stories is a way of making sense of that. Well I'm really nosy so I really like just imagining what people's lives are like and coming up with stories about them. Aside from this uh, getting into this anthology uh, uh, probably getting a double first to Oxford. My proudest moment is probably getting to tell my parents that I'm finally getting published in something. Um, other than being published in the Proud book, um, my proudest moment has been uh, this past year my sister had a baby and seeing my niece kind of grow into a really cool, um, funny, brilliant person has been very exciting and something that I'm very proud of. Well, my proudest moment, aside from, I guess, being in the anthology, is uh, making an Alexander Hamilton costume for my dog. It's a fairy tale, and it's about um, a Chinese lantern maker who has a pet phoenix, and she has to choose between the emperor and her best friend. Um, and it's also kind of about the weight of um, societal and familial expectations. But my short story is about uh, two queer teens who have the chance to run away and be together uh, and it's about um, accepting yourself and finding love and acceptance around you. So my short story is about uh, a ragtag LGBT plus football team uh, supporting their trans star player um, and the idea behind it um, was that as a, as a community, queer people, um, we're all very different, but we're brought together by, um, often brought together by this one thing, the fact that we're queer. Um, so that's what the story is about. My story is a modern day lesbian retelling of Pride and Prejudice. LGBTQ plus YA is important to me because um, I just, I know it's like really hard and lonely not to see reflections of yourself in stories um, and what an incredible feeling it is when you finally do get to see something that reflects you. LGBTQYA is important to me because uh, when I was growing up I didn't have any basically, thanks in part to Section 28 and I think I would have uh, I think, I think I would have understood myself and found my community a lot sooner if I had. So being a part of that now for the, this generation of teens is very important to me. Um, LGBTQYA is important to me because if you can't see it, you can't be it. Um, it's really important for 
young queer people to see themselves reflected in the books that they read and the media that they watch. Um, but I also think it's important for um, people who are not queer to uh, realise that their story is not the only story. LGBTQYA is important to me because um, I think it's, it's a particularly important time in people's lives, being a teenager and figuring out who you are and who you like. It's just a really, it's a time when seeing yourself in a story is really important.